it is a certain day of the week uh, and a date. I think it's the first of May. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so this is Belgium. This is really typical. This is what I've been seeing pretty much since I got off the train in France. Um, it is morning time. I am off to Amsterdam now. Yeah. Good times. This is uh, this is William's house. This is his back garden. These are his lettuce, which we ate last night. You can feel your body And his beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home. If you're on couch surfing, I don't know. Adam has a friend. Give him a reference. I don't know. He's cool. And everything looks like a giant. Sugar on my nose. That could have that could have looked like something else. Um, I uh, just had my petrol station hot dog, which I am a sucker for. Uh, that's how I survived driving across America. Uh, I'm in Holland now, without realizing I crossed the border, and then I went to this petrol station. Everyone's speaking Dutch, so I'm like, yeah. I didn't. I prepared for like really hot weather in Greece and Italy. And June and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I didn't really think about how cold it may be in at the start of May. Certainly in like Northwest Europe, and it's fucking cold. So I had to pull over and have a coffee. Tank is full, bladder is empty. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Checked into the worst hotel in the world, and let me see. Is there a light? Oh, there is a light. Okay. Yeah. However, no bed sheets. And this is—I think this is my bed here. This is my bed. With a nice ear plug and uh, some stains. And yeah, reception are nice. This is the Hansbringer Hotel in Amsterdam. There's my bike outside. I found my linen. Yeah, it's in here. Which is fair enough that you make your own bed in the worst hotel in the world. Completely fair. Totally understand. So, out with this shit. Oh. And in with this shit here. Yabo. So, 
in Amsterdam, they've got this stuff called marijuana, and they say it's kind of like beer. Kind of makes you a little bit woozy, makes you feel a little bit happy, um, but you don't get a hangover. So I think I might go out and find out more about this marijuana stuff. And it's going to be interesting. Ooh, cool bike. coffee shop. They were not selling coffee. Decided against uh, the whole marijuana thing. I found out about that and it didn't sound like my cup of tea. So I've decided to um, go down to the Anne Frank house. I was really, really, really bad at history. I once got 4% in an exam. I also failed my junior cert history because we had to take it. Naturally, I didn't take the subject for um, the leaving cert. So, uh, I think not knowing basic history is a little bit ignorant. And I think given the opportunities I have on this trip, welcome to Amsterdam. Just after coming out of the Anne Frank house, and yeah, it's very insightful. And uh, there's an interview with the father at the end, and he says something like, "You know, I never knew the the Anne that, that she spoke with, that was spoken about in the diary, and that your even parents never really know their kids." So it's kind of sad that he had that reflection on her his daughter's um, diary um, and the original documents are in there so yeah a very sad reality of what happened Thank you.